when we close the message in Revelation chapter 6, it was talking about the day of wrath, the day of God's anger that had come. It seems that there was great terror to the extent that people were asking the mountains to fall upon them, to hide themselves from the face of God. Now, with that, we're going to look at something different in chapter 7. And so if you read the book of Revelation and see only the wrath of God, then you're not really seeing what the book of Revelation is about. But it seems like most of the time when people think about the book of Revelation, that's what they think about. Wrath, anger, judgment. <laughs> okay, but today as we come down to chapter 7, it's like we're going back to chapters 4 and 5, which take us to the throne room of heaven and see the glory of God, the praise of the nations. And so today as we look at chapter 7, we're going to see an innumerable crowd of people of all nations and tribes and languages giving praise and glory and honor to God. Has anyone ever been discouraged? Has anyone ever been depressed? Okay, let me put it this way. Who hasn't? Oh, I guess we all understand about that, huh? You know, one of the things that I like to do when I'm down is read the book of Revelation. It's a very powerful message about our hope, about our victory. The emphasis on victory and hope is much greater than the emphasis on wrath and judgment. And so today we have the opportunity of walking through chapter 7 and understanding that even better. So if you haven't done so, please open your Bibles to Revelation chapter 7. Okay. After speaking of the day of wrath, John goes on to say, After this I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth to prevent any wind from blowing on the land or the sea or any tree. From verse 1 in chapter 7, we're talking about the sovereignty of God over the whole universe. Don't try to interpret too much what four corners of the earth means. Understand that God is talking about the whole world. Uh, 
the idea here is what we need to grasp. Uh, God is in charge and God is ruling over the entire earth. It's not gone crazy. It's not out of control, not out of God's control. So the four angels, the four messengers of God are those who are sent out. They're standing. They're surrounding the earth. They're keeping the wind from blowing. What are we talking about here? Now, jump down to verse 3 just for a moment. Because there is a fifth angel gives direction to the four, and he says, Do not harm the land or the sea or the trees until. So the wind that would blow that is being held back at verse 1 is symbolic of some type of harm or judgment that is going to come, but it's being stopped, it's being held back. So let's come back and let's think about that. Let's pick up with verse 2 then. Then I saw another angel coming up from the east, having the seal of the living God. He called out in a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm the land. And the sea. See, the four angels. They're the messengers of God. They're keeping the harm from coming upon the earth until the right time, until God's time. And what is the key in verse 3? Okay. It's the message of the fifth angel to the four. Do not harm the land or the sea or the trees until we have put a seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. Now let me ask you a question. When you think about the book of Revelation, and when you think about some seal that is put on people, what do you usually think about? What do we think about? Is it not usually six, six, six? The seal of Satan? Am I right? Is that what people usually think about? Now, that's part of what I was saying about before. Too many times we think about the wrath, the bad things, the judgment that's coming in this book, and we fail to see that even before that is introduced, and even more important is that, is the seal of God that is put on His saints to protect them from harm. 很多時候人們在看笑,都是強調神的那種憤怒,所以當我們在講到印的時候,可能都是講一些審判,都是講一些關殺彈的,但其實在這些一切之前,在審判之前,你會見到神,這些人是留在神的指紋上面的,是一個
is personally in control, that God is the one present to protect us in the midst of this harm and judgment that's going to come on this world. 我哋見到咧，神咧係掌管呢個地上嘅，同埋咧喺誒憤怒嘅日子咧，喺審判嘅日子咧，神咧仍然去去保護佢嘅子民嘅。Don't be discouraged， 所以千祈唔好灰心。Don't be depressed， 唔好誒沮喪咯。Don't get all stressed out about these things， 唔好因為咧誒神嘅審判啊、神嘅憤怒啊，就覺誒誒，即係好似好絕望咁樣咯。Do you belong to Jesus Christ? Do you belong to Jesus Christ? Do you have the seal of the Holy Spirit, God's guarantee of salvation, living in your heart and life? Do you have the seal of the Holy Spirit, God's guarantee of salvation, living in your heart and life? See, God is saying to prepare His people for the days ahead. He's going to put a seal on their foreheads. So, in the judgment day. 之前咧，神咧就去賜下佢嘅印記咧，俾佢嘅子民啊，去保護佢哋。見唔見？你見唔見到 ？Is it meant to be something physical, visible and material, something outward？ 呢一個印記咧，係咪一啲我哋肉眼睇到嘅一個印記咧 ？I believe this seal is something that is also figurative, not necessarily literal. 誒、uh, 相信咧呢一個印記咧係一個象徵嚟嘅，就唔係一啲我哋見到嘅一個印咁樣咯。I'm sure you're familiar with what many of you with what Romans 12:2 says when it talks about your minds being transformed, being renewed by the power of the Word of God. Romans 12:2. 12:2. Oh. Renewed, transformed by the renewing of your mind. 咁啊，喺羅馬書第十二章二節咧，提到我哋嘅心意更新而變化啦。咁誒係啦。I think we're talking about this seal here as being the word of God that fills our hearts and our minds and our thinking。呢度嘅印記咧，可能就係講緊神嘅話語咧，去充滿我哋嘅思想啦，去更新我哋啦。There is protection and power in the word of God。因為神嘅話語咧，係可以去。And for those who are standing on the word of God, they can be free from the wrath of God. 凡係持守神嘅話語嘅，就可以喺審判嘅時候咧，就站立得住啦。There can be an inner joy and an inner peace in their lives, even when outwardly things are really bad. 即使咧，誒、呃、面對嘅係審判啦，面對嘅係周圍嘅環境咧係好差啦，但係內在咧有嗰份喜樂同平安。God is there to call the righteous out of judgment。神咧喺呢度咧就喺審判當中咧，佢去呼召或者佢去救救咗一啲義人出嚟啦。He demonstrated that with Lot and his wife and two daughters as they were living in the city of Sodom。喺創世記咧，我哋見到誒、呃、神咧就係、是。Now let's go on in our text. Oh, let's look at the text. Then I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 Twelve thousand from Reuben. Ah, 流便支派有一萬二千 Twelve thousand from Gad. Gad 的支派有一萬二千 From Asher, from Naphtali, from Manasseh. Ah, 切支拿弗他馬拿西都都係有一萬二千 Simeon, Levi, Issachar. 西面利未以撒家都係有一萬二千 Zebulun, Joseph, Benjamin. 西布伦、约瑟、便雅文都系有一万二千。Twelve thousand from every tribe。诶 ，twelve thousand from each tribe。哦，系，每一个支派都有一万二千啊